everyone it's your girl jay branch with purpose for a purpose today i wanted to share a little bit of my heart what's kind of going on where it was you know in my life right now so uh, a week or so ago i prayed a very specific prayer to god and asked him to just send me people that could uh, really be of support and value to this season of my life that I'm in to help me to also get to where God is calling me to. So whether he's calling me into some, you know, whatever he's calling me to right now in the future, wherever he has me going. Um, oh, sorry. And, <laughs> and, um, you know, I didn't necessarily, I, in my mind, if I'm in all honesty, I had an idea of what that looked like, those types of people, but it's not panning out that way. And what's happened is uh, my current relationships, friendships are beginning to look a little different. They're not, they just look like they're falling apart. <laughs> um kind of fading coming to an end and it feels as if it's out of the blue and I was reminded of the prayer uh, yesterday and I'm, I'm like but that's not what I was asking God I just want you to send me some people that will help me you know not not end friendships or yeah, I, that's not really what I had in mind um and then I was reminded again that when we pray and ask God for things, we don't, I mean, you can, but it would do you no good to tell, we don't tell him how to answer it. And that's kind of where we get in trouble. We set ourselves up sometimes for disappointment because we pray the prayer and then God is sovereign. He does what he wants to do and how he wants to do it. So I presented my prayer to him. And he heard me and he is answering and he's moving. It just isn't how I thought. And then it hurts. It hurts when um, relationships and friendships come to an end or maybe change in a way that you weren't expecting. But sometimes we have to remember that uh, it's, for our, um, it's for our good and for our benefit. And it's what's necessary in our walk um, with God and to accomplish what, I'm not gonna be emotional, <laughs> to accomplish what God has for us. And so um, just in thinking about this morning, I, you know, it's two-sided. So the first is that people, Everybody isn't going to be able to go with you the full the full distance. They're not going to be able to go the full journey of life with you. We all have heard that people are in our life for a reason, season, lifetime. And we like to say it, but sometimes when that person's time is up, it's hard. It's hard to let go of that relationship. And, you know, sometimes it's where God is taking you. People just can't go. They don't have what it takes um, to be in that environment with you. They can't handle the altitude. They just can't handle the conditions that um, are surrounding that next season or that next step in your journey and vice versa. So this, you know, this isn't all about people and not being able to add to you. You can't always add to other people. We can't always go where God is taking other people. And so we have to be willing to step back and let them go and continue to cheer them on and support them and pray for them. But we just can't be there by their side, walking with them along the way. And that's okay. That's okay. We have to get to a place where we can be okay with that. And sometimes when God moves like this, when he is, um, as a friend of mine calls it, cleaning house or um, just kind of moving some people out of your life or moving things around it's to make room for what he's getting ready to do uh, what he's getting ready to um, give to you so we have to make room for um, for what's about to happen and then the other side of the coin because I don't want it to be 
uh, so focused on other people and, you know, well, they got to get out of my life. You know, that's, you know, that's not the mentality that we should have. Um, but some people do have to leave and we have to also leave other people to, to allow them to walk um, in what God is calling them to. But at the same time, in this situation, for me specifically, um, it's also a heart check. Sometimes in these seasons and in these moments, God is saying, yes, I know uh, you want other people, uh, you need people around you, and he understands the value of us doing life with people, and he will place people in our life that we need, but he also needs, sometimes needs us to do a heart check. That before he can give us exactly what we're asking for, before he can bring those people into our lives, before he can present the opportunity or open the door for us, we have to check our hearts and make sure that we are ready. You know, God has just been exposing some sensitivities to me, um, exposing some past hurts that haven't been dealt with. And I believe that he's doing that because I have to deal with it and I need to address it before I can continue on, before he can give me um, those people. Because what if I don't deal with the hurt? What if I don't address those parts of my personality that need to be addressed? And he gives me those people and I mess it up because I haven't dealt with me. You know, so I need to make sure that I'm ready. And God wants me to be ready. And so I think it's an it's just it's a two-sided coin, you know, making room for what he's getting ready to do, but also making sure that I'm ready uh, mentally, emotionally, spiritually to, to receive what he has for me. Um, and I think, I don't think, but I know that we have to be willing to let go. We can't walk around with a closed fist and be like, God, I need you to do this. I want you to do this. But we're like this. And God's like, I need, I'm trying to give it, give you what you're asking for, but I need you to open your hand. And so, you know, you open your hand, but I really believe that it's more like this. It's a cup because when we cup it, when you place something in it, I don't have anything to place in it, but, um, I don't card. Um, it's not going to fall. It's, it doesn't easily fall out because I'm holding it like this. And it's called, is that's being responsible with what God is giving us versus like this, it can easily, you know, fall out of my hand. But being, having, living a life with an open hand allows God to add to and take away as he pleases. It's a life that's surrendered to God's will. And that's what I believe he wants for us, for us to be open to what he has for us, um, open to where he guides us to, what he calls us to, and to walk away from those things as well. So I will, um, so pray for me in this season for sure, but I hope that um, you remember that. And if you find yourself in a similar situation, that you will, um, don't focus so much on the hurt and the disappointment and asking the why, but focus on the what. What is it, God, that you are trying to show me? What is that you're trying, that you want me to learn? And Lord, show me what I need to address in my own personal life so that I'm ready for what you have for me, to receive what you have um, coming down the line in the future. So until next time, everyone, be blessed. Bye-bye.